Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see some of the properties related to determinants. So let's look at some of the properties and we will try to uh, use these properties to solve some simple examples. Property number one. In, in here it says, if A is a matrix and B is another matrix, I'm just going to write it down as I speak, if A and B are matrices of order N, of order N, then the determinant of the product AB, like that, is going to be equal to determinant of A times the determinant of B. We will prove this property in my next video presentation but we will just talk about the properties in here we will list all the properties out and then we will explain how each one of these properties can be uh, used with a simple example property property number two if a is a matrix if a is a n by n matrix and then if we have a scalar which we which we normally call as c c is a scalar quantity scalar quantities are constant quantities that's the way we can think about them then this is true then the determinant of a constant times the matrix a we can write that as c to the power of n the constant to the power of n the scalar quantity to the power of n times the determinant of a we will also prove this with an example in my next video video presentation Okay, the next property is if A is an invertible matrix, if A is an invertible matrix, invertible matrix, then, then the determinant of A inverse, we have already seen what A inverse is, please uh, view my previous videos, you will see I have explained in detail what an inverse is and we will also talk about that in my uh, other examples coming up. So a determinant of A inverse, we can find that as 1 over the determinant of the matrix A, like that, okay, and then the, the next property we want to know is this. If A is a square matrix, if A is a square matrix, square matrix, square matrix are, if the number of rows is equal to the number of columns, those are called square matrix. Okay? Then, the determinant of A the determinant of matrix A, we can find that as the determinant of A transpose. Okay, so these are the four main properties of determinants. In my next presentation, we shall look at uh, how to solve simple example problems using the using the properties of determinants.